Oh, what's going on? Let's talk about the 2014 GMC Yukon. Um, 6.2 liter came in with a lifter tick. It came in, and the customer was like, I'm pretty sure I have a bad lifter. I know how past 2007, these GM vehicles started with lifter issues, and I'm pretty sure mine fits the criteria. So I'm interested in possibly doing a DOD delete if we can come up with a price and stuff and i said yeah it's a big job it's a 19 hour job there's a lot of cleaning involved a lot of switching around and stuff some modifying but not much it's going to be around a five thousand dollar fifty two hundred dollar job i mean that's with everything getting done to it that needs to get done the the lifters the trays the um camshaft the oil pressure regulator block off the front cover uh seal the water pump seals the cam cover seals everything's upgraded stainless steel manifold bolts and our exhaust yeah exhaust manifold bolts new exhaust manifold gaskets anyway i don't remember what all was in the kit um but i had to add my own little touch to it based on uh, a gentleman on tiktok his name is ben tune b-e-n-t-u-n-e -E, is how i find him when i look him up and we're really good friends and he's a great guy so if you're on tiktok throw him a follow he's a great dude uh, here's the update on the GMC Yukon. What is DOD, Displacement on Demand? It's where in 2007, GM and Chevy GM, General Motors, decided that they wanted to start doing a 8-cylinder to 4-cylinder deactivation, where under certain criteria, the vehicle would go from 8-cylinder, disable 4 cylinders of those 8, and it would run on 4. And then whenever you needed power, you were going to accelerate or something again, or you were coming off a cruising operation, you would get all eight cylinders back online. Well, those DOD lifters had a spring-type oil pressure-controlled system that what you do when you want to get rid of that crap because it was really faulty and they, they end up, they're, they're, just, they're terrible. Uh, there's, there's really no reason for it. You can program them out to stop working if you want, but you still have the faulty material the spring-loaded lifters and stuff in there, the DOD lifters, which they're trash. So no matter if you program it out, you put a range deactivation dongle, you still have the bad components in the engine that end up failing anyway. By programming them out with, you know, HP tuners or something like that, or with the range deactivation dongle, you do get probably more out of them, but eventually they will fail. The best thing to do is just pull everything apart, pull the heads off of it, pull lifters and stuff off of it, pull camshaft off of it, and I'm putting a stock 6.2 liter cam profile back in with all new lifters, non-DOD lifters, a uh, oil manifold and stuff with block off plugs and everything else. So this truck will run like a pre-2007 with none of that DOD crap and it'll easily get three, four, five hundred thousand 500,000 miles out of it plus, you know. And uh, yeah, we're going to make it like the old school Chevy's pre-2007 will just run and run and run and run. Here's the video. All right, so for those of you asking, this is where we're at with the DOD delete. Got heads off, got camshaft and stuff out, got lifters and stuff out. Um, you don't on this particular on this particular LS engine, the 6.2 liter. You see how the valley pan has seals right here all the way down. Uh, you can put that on there. You can just directly replace the old one. You're not going to use a sensor anymore because it's getting tuned out. You can see the difference in the two. If you've never seen it, this will be interesting to you. For those of you that have seen it, you're like, oh, this is stupid. I've seen this a thousand times. Well, not everybody has. So, flat. Nothing going on here. Seals all the way down. This here, this is for non-DOD or DOD delete. This is for a DOD that nobody wants because it's garbage. It's the worst thing the government ever could have put on something. There's the DOD oil solenoid sensor bank here. This is what would control, turn on and off all of the oil to and fro from the DOD delete section. So you're going from that to that. And if you notice the difference here, this has oil pressure sensor in it. And there's a screen underneath it right here. And it has the DOD. Look at the new one. It only has the port for the oil pressure because you're not using the DOD anymore. It is no longer in use. And I called Ben Tune up and I was talking to him a little bit. 
and he was like, hey, let me, uh, let me give you some advice. Don't just use that valley pan only. He said, every one of my customers, I give them the ex ex extra security, and I actually tap and plug, or I, not tap, I actually plug each one of the ports for the DOD. So if you look here, you can see I have plugged each one of them all the way down. So I'm not just relying on these gaskets because in the future, if these gaskets ever shrink or go brittle, you can get oil pressure bleed off. So Ben is right. With putting those plugs in there, you're giving that extra security that if those ever do leak, those seals ever do go bad, you're not going to cause an issue for the vehicle running with oil pressure because you already got them permanently blocked off. So I went ahead and did that. Looking at the camshaft itself, it looks pretty good. There's no scoring or anything on it. We caught the, the DOD tap collapse in time. You can see here the, the difference between the two. So the, tam the camshaft is actually in really good shape. There was no wear, no scarring, no nothing on the cam bearings or anything like that. They all look really, really good. So then what I did was I was, I, I was looking inside this bore because you can see where this got stuck and started scraping right here where this metal kind of flared out and it did cause a little bit of a rough spot in that lifter bore. So I have to wait till tomorrow because I, or, I ordered a two, no, I ordered a, a, a half to two and a quarter hone so I can lightly hone out that just to make sure there's no, and what I wanted to do in the meantime is take a lifter and actually put it down inside that bore to see if it'll and it works it doesn't drag there's no excessive play or anything in here up back and forth side to side move it up and down it doesn't grab at all so we'll be fine we don't have that much of a problem but i still want to run that hone down inside that cylinder or that that bore anyway where this has collapsed see the spring difference in length here um and then We'll start slapping all the goodies on it tomorrow after I get that hone ran in there and get some of those little burrs uh, cleaned up. But yeah, that's the update for the DOD delete. Now we're getting ready to start cleaning and putting everything back together. Heads look really good. Looks like the oil's been changed really good. Like customers really taking care of the vehicle. So that's not an issue here. This vehicle actually looks fairly new. So overall going together pretty smooth but we have some little hiccups along the way because our main guy that's doing this right now i'm helping him do it on and off and then uh he's helping the rest of the guys in the shop diagnose and get the other vehicles out of here so he's got to keep stopping here go somewhere else come back to it go somewhere else it's this is the life of the main guy in the shop normally that's what happens they don't get shit done so you got to pay them pretty well so to the customer watching the channel i hope that was a good enough update for you we should be done tomorrow but who knows, we run into another snag, it may take an extra day. Thank you. Be blessed and have a great day.